Hey Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch You Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a new die set that's from the new annual catalog. The catalog starts May 4th, so make sure you get it so that you can start ordering some of this fun new product. But this, the die set that I want to share with you is called the Tailor Made Tags die. Let me show you here really quick. This is what it comes like. It has two different shapes of dies in four different sizes. Let me give you a little bit of a better view. I cut them all out, just pasted them on here. So you can see the two different styles and each of them have four different sizes. And then it has these little extra little layers to help protect the circle where you put your ribbon through, okay? So I just want to show you a cute little tip on how to use these dies and a fun technique to go with it. I also used this spiral die stamp set last week. It's this fun um, full size stamp. I love these background stamps. They are so useful and tie dye is very in right now. It's very trendy. So I wanted to use this again, but I wanted to show you a different technique on how to use it. So I'm going to use four different colors because tie-dye is all about fun, bright colors, right? So I have Melon Mambo, Flirty Flamingo, Mango Melody, and Daffodil Delight. And I'm going to just stamp these all over the tie-dye stamp and then I'll show you how I'm going to make the fun tags with this. So I'm going to start with my lightest color, which is Daffodil Delight. And the reason I'm going to do that is because once the light color is down, then I can go over that color with a darker color and it won't ruin my stamp pads. So I'm just going to add some of this Daffodil Delight just randomly on the stamp. Okay. And then I'm going to go to Mango Melody and I'm going to add some of that. And I'm making sure that the whole stamp gets covered. Next, I'm going to go to Flirty Flamingo. I'm making sure the whole stamp gets covered, but I'm not being too particular about the where anything goes, the location of any of the colors. So there's no real order to it. And last, Melon Mambo. Just make sure I get all of my areas covered here. Put a little over here. Okay. So now that all of it's covered, I'm going to take a plain piece of basic white cardstock and I'm just going to lay that right over the top of my stamp, just like that. And then with a scrap piece of paper, I'm going to just rub the ink onto my basic white piece of paper. Okay, just like that. And carefully peel it up and that is how it looks. So fun, so cute, and so trendy right now. I love it. So then I'm going to take my Taylor made dies and I'm going to use my, I, I want to use my two largest of each of the styles here. And with the larger ones, I'm going to cut those out of colored cardstock. But on this piece, I want to cut them um, with the second largest one. So I just want to lay them on my piece that I stamped here. Okay, just like that. And I have already cut them out. So this is after I cut them out. This is what it'll look like. Okay. And let me show you here the finished product of, of what I did. So I made these cute little tags, happy birthday. So I cut, you can see the, um, on the basic white and then I cut some Melon Mambo out of the bigger tag and just put that behind it. And then the little extra layer there on the, um, on the tab. And then you can go and, and tie this to any gift that you're giving to anybody for happy birthday. And here's one with thank you. And I did that one with the mango melody behind it. So much fun. 
I love this technique and these tailored tags give you just an extra little add-on to a gift to spice it up a little. So I love playing with them and I'm excited. I want to go and just make a ton of these that I can put in my gift wrapping area that I can just throw on gifts as I need them. If you are interested in purchasing the tailor-made tags, dies, or anything else from the new annual catalog, make sure to visit us at stampinjill.com. And thanks so much for watching another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.